Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. What we've got here is the all new Samsung 32 inch MADD smart monitor. I call it the do it all monitor. I've reviewed past versions, but I wanted to see what's new about this one. In this video, I'm going to give you my first impressions and unboxing of this monitor, as well as a quick overview of some of the most important features this TV has. Now, I've always been a fan of these smart monitors, but Samsung really has taken it to another level of usefulness with the addition of AI upscaling. But first, cue the intro. Welcome back. Let's get started. After opening the box, you can see we have the base, the stand arm, a USB-C cable, a Pro HDMI cable, an attachable camera, and a white 2024 Samsung remote. The monitor itself, installation is very easy. You connect the stand's neck to the base and use a screwdriver to screw the two pieces together. Next, connect the assembled stand to the monitor by sliding it into place. Top edge first, and then pushing down until you hear a click. You then plug the power cord into the monitor. Note, you can use a hole at the back of the stand to organize any cables you have. Seriously, it's very easy to install. To attach the camera, attach the USB-C connector to the camera and then attach the camera to the monitor. And please remember to remove the film on the sensor on the lower right-hand portion of the monitor. Design-wise, it looks very similar to the new Apple iMac with twice the thickness of the iMac, which is 11.4 millimeters deep. Its warm white hue, I think, complements many designs and spaces that you might put this monitor in. The herringbone pattern on the back, however, is unique to the M80D and adds a sophisticated touch. The stand is height and tilt adjustable and can also pivot, allowing the optimal viewing angle for maximum comfort. In terms of port offerings, it has one HDMI port, one USB-C port that supports 65 watt charging, and two USB-A ports. This TV can be used as a USB hub, so you can connect your wireless keyboard dongle or other USB device to the monitor. And while the computer is connected to the TV, it will recognize it. I'll skip through the setup process since it's pretty similar to other Samsung TV monitors. The monitor's Tizen interface, I think, seems to be pretty snappy. It has the gaming hub that has access to the Xbox Live system. We'll talk more about these in a later video. This monitor has 10 watt speakers. Here's some audio samples. Similar to past versions, this screen has a matte coating, but new for this year though, it has an AI processor that does picture upscaling. Now here's some picture samples. First thoughts, I like the fact that it can function as a monitor, a 4K TV and a game console. I also like the included remote. It's small, yet functional, and can also be charged using solar energy. The monitor is not without its flaws though. Number one, it does not come with a lot of ports. It has more ports than its first version, but more is always better. There is a workaround for this though. You can check out the link above on ways to update the number of ports. Secondly, there is no headphone jack, but I think the speakers do make up for that fact. Third, the power brick is pretty big. All right, so this is it for now, my friends. The next video will be more of an in-depth video, so stay tuned. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did find it helpful, please hit that like button so more people can see it to know what's out there and not waste their hard-earned money. Consider subscribing, and don't forget to turn on notifications for those future in-depth reviews and comparison videos. I can already say that despite some minor faults, this is a very good monitor. So I'll get to those videos as fast as possible. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time. This is GSC Tech and Finance signing out. <music>